Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Oshina. So today I am going to be talking about all of the books that I was disappointed by or I DNF'd or I just wasn't that into in 2021. And I'm not saying if you like any of these books that you are a bad person or you're wrong or anything. Um, I could very well be wrong. So this is not meant to be an attack on anyone who likes these books. Just wanted to make that clear. So um, I'm going to be talking about 13 books. These are a mix of DNFs and like low ratings or just like I was disappointed. So I'm just going to start from the top and like work my way down. So the first one is Diary of a Wimpy Kid. I forget the author of this series, but I actually read the second one called Roderick Rules to my class um, in January, I think, or February. And I really didn't enjoy reading it because I had seen the movie, but I'd never read the book. And I was very shocked by what a bad attitude all of the kids had, especially towards the parents. And just the fact that they like complained all the time, they were rude. The sibling dynamic was not very good either, like the two brothers, um, Greg and Roderick. I know it's normal, but Roderick was like actually a terrible big brother and his parents didn't do anything about it. And that really bothered me. And I don't know, I just wish that there was more of redemption almost, or just like more morals in it. And anyways, I just didn't enjoy reading it. I did think like the way that it was written was fun, like kind of journal style and like the drawings were funny, but I overall I was not impressed and I would not recommend this book to anyone, especially young kids. Next is The Simple Wild by K.A. Tucker. I do have a video where I explained myself a little bit more about this book, so I'll link that down below. But I actually DNF'd this one. Um, I got pretty far into it. I, I was really enjoying it, but it was about a relationship that I shouldn't enjoy because like the guy was just that much more rude to her than he needed to be like for it to be like a friends to lovers or hate to love romance whatever he just like didn't treat her very well and then when it came to their physical attraction it just like was very sexualized and then the, the there was a scene where they were alone in a cabin and stuff started to happen and it just I just couldn't read it like oh like the writing was great and I really liked the main girl character, but the relationship and then also just the fact that it wasn't clean, I DNF'd it. Next DNF was The Kingdom of Back by Marie Lu. I also talked a little bit about this one, but I just found it boring and the fact that I didn't really understand The Kingdom of Back because it's like a made up fantasy world that the two kids make up in the book and it, it really didn't make any sense. I didn't understand what was going on and then the like reality timeline was kind of sucky because the girl was like treated really badly because that's how girls were treated back then and it's a Mozart retelling kind of retelling I don't know um, but it follows Mo 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 wow. Mozart and his sister and his sister like is just as good at music as Mozart is but she doesn't get any opportunities because she's a girl and her dad really sucked in that way and just it it just wasn't a great story for me to be reading it wasn't very positive i and plus the kingdom of back made no sense to me so i dnf'd it um next is sherwood by megan spooner i just i gave this two stars because i didn't like the main girl character made marion i i just was like i didn't like how deceptive she was and she just was like very dramatic and I I don't know like because it starts off with Robin Hood being dead um, she kind of takes his place and pretends to be him and that could have been cool but I just didn't like the way that she did it and then kind of the romance they put in there wasn't believable for me and I don't know I didn't really enjoy it that much so yeah I I don't know Next is The Killing Tide by Danny Petrie. I gave this three stars, but it was a disappointment because I wished that I loved it more. Like, Submerged just was so good for me. And then everything since the Submerged Alaskan Courage series, I just haven't loved as much. So I was disappointed. And it was to the point where I was like, I don't actually want to read the rest of the series. Like, the second book is out for The Killing Tide and I don't think I'll ever read it. 
because I just wasn't very invested in the characters and there was a lot of characters introduced it jumped scenes a lot like jumped perspectives kind of and I just wasn't into it it, it was too bad but yeah like I think her writing style is great I love the way that she writes a story but just like the characters for me didn't do it so yeah it only got three stars I think I still think it was good but it just wasn't a favorite and I wished it was. Okay next is Echoes Among the Stones by Jamie Jo Wright. I gave this three stars as well and it's just a disappointment because I wish that I loved it more. There was kind of like a lot of hype around this author for me and when I finally read this book I was just like it was hard for me to get into both storylines because it is a dual timeline and for the most part I enjoy the present timeline more than the past timeline and that happened for this book too. I just was like uh, I just I don't know and then especially when there's a mystery happening because of something that happened in the past I just I don't really like that for some reason I don't know I just found it hard to get into so yeah I got three stars okay another DNF is the printed letter bookshop by Catherine Rie so this book I just again I didn't like the characters and I just found it kind of boring the way it was told like you follow it opens with the death of a relative and this girl goes to the funeral and then she finds out that the relative willed her bookshop to her and there's two ladies that work at the bookshop as well so the girl goes to it and she kind of wants to like wrap it up and sell it but the two ladies are like this is all we have like please don't whatever and I didn't get that far into it before I DNF'd it but I found the two ladies super annoying and then it was just like a sad thing because like everyone was grieving this relative and then like the whole family that had tons of secrets and they were like rude to each other and I don't know I just wasn't into it um so I didn't get very far I DNF'd it and that was too bad I wish that I loved this author because she has a lot of like cute books and her covers are so nice but yeah this book just didn't work for me then I also DNF'd The Cul-de-Sac War by Melissa Ferguson and I was really disappointed by that because it started out so strong I really liked the first like meet cute that there was. This girl like runs out of a, a theater because she, she acts I think and there's a guy outside that like helps her with her dress or something and it just was really funny but then they end up like living in the same cul-de-sac and they were just both so ridiculous to each other and I just couldn't get behind their behavior towards each other like it was just so over the top and and unrealistic that I just was like ah oh, I don't like it anymore <laughs> and and then plus I guess just the writing didn't really like wasn't quick to consume so I just was like uh, I don't even want to read this so yeah I DNF'd it Okay, two to hold up, which is kind of weird, but so these are the last two books of the Carolina Coast series. The first book is Beach Haven. I gave that four stars. I really enjoyed it, but these two books I gave three stars because I found them harder to get into, plus I didn't like the relationships in either of them. Um, Driftwood Dreams is the second book, and it follows kind of a friends to lovers story where there's like some history there, but they, they were always just friends. The girl has pined for the guy for her whole life, basically, since she's known him. And it just, it was just, I didn't really like that part. Like she was very insecure around him and I wish she wasn't. I, I guess, I know not everyone is like super confident around the opposite gender, but I still was just like, I guess I just didn't relate to it or I don't know. and. And then just the way he treated her, like, it just felt like there was a power imbalance. I think that's what it is. Like, he was so, like, suave and um, wasn't phased by her, but she was, like, so she couldn't even speak normal sentences when he was around, and that just bothered me. So I didn't like that relationship. So that was kind of, like, a downer for the for the whole book, but, like, it, it was fine. It was, you know, okay, whatever. Um, and then this book, too, this is, like, an enemies to lovers romance where the... The lady is going through a divorce and her doctor um, is the love interest and just she was so rude to him but he was rude back and for it to be like a patient doctor relationship but then like friends kind of and he helps her with her son I think it was a son and it just I didn't like the start and then she was just like consistently rude to him and 
I just was like, how can you develop feelings for someone when all they do is like be rude to you? I, I don't get that part. So yeah, just like, that's the thing. The relationships didn't work, but these are relationships and like, you know, tropes, I guess, that I don't like anyways. So the, they were done well, I guess, like as a trope. So if you like those tropes, you, you probably will like these books. I just don't really like those. I mean, I love Friends to Lovers, but not when there's that power imbalance. Um, I don't know. So anyways, I hope that makes sense. Um, but I did really like Beach Haven and I am currently reading, although I'm probably done with it by the time you see this video, um, Lulu's Cafe by T. Ilo and I love it. It's probably gonna be five stars. So this author is still great to me. Um, these were just kind of random duds. Okay, another DNF is Heart of Iron by Ashley Poston. I just love this cover. Um, this is a YA sci-fi story and it was just, there was way too many perspectives for me. Not even like there was that many, but there was three right away. And I just didn't get into them because they were like trying to escape from a place, but it wasn't told very well. Like it just wasn't that exciting. It was more so like work to understand what was going on. And so I lost interest right away and I just never wanted to pick it up after that. And so I DNF'd it. Okay, almost done. We just have two Christmas books to talk about. So first one is 10 Blind Dates by Ashley Elston, <laughs> different Ashley. And I have talked about why I don't like this book. Maybe I'm a broken record by now, but I didn't like that the girl and her whole family were really rude to her ex-boyfriend, calling him names. And I just felt like it was unnecessary. And then there was a scene where they went to this drive-in movie and the drive-in movie ended up being very explicit and inappropriate for anyone to be watching, but especially teenagers. And I just was very turned off by that. I did not approve. And so I, I gave it two stars. Really, it should be one star. I didn't like this book at all. And then lastly, I DNF to this book. It's Mistletoe Between Friends by Samantha Chase. This just wasn't clean and it had two short stories in it and the first short story is what wasn't clean and so I just DNF'd it when it got that far and I don't know what the second story was like but probably had the same in it. So yeah, that is it. There's not even that many books, you know? Like I am fairly good at picking up books that I think I will like that I've heard you know, generally either they're clean or they're about something that I like or whatever. I try not to try books that I don't think I'm gonna like. So these books were just the ones that I was like, sure, I'll try. And then, you know, whatever happened, happened. But I do like going out of my comfort zone. I like trying different types of books sometimes. <laughs> and so anyways, that's how this happens. And But I would love to hear um, what you think of these books, if you've read them, if you like have similar opinions or not. And what do you do when you start reading a book that you're like, uh oh, don't like this? Like, do you DNF or do you push through and just give it a low rating? I would love to know. In general, I pretty much just DNF at this point unless I feel like I need to finish the book, but I'm pretty comfortable DNFing, but I'm also like pretty good at picking books that I think I'll like and so I don't DNF them because I like them. So, you know, um, that is everything. Thank you for watching this video, you guys. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Bye.